techniques we use come from traditional circus, you know, acrobatics, aerial work, juggling, magic. Uh, and then we gather techniques from different areas. For example, we bring in musicians who bring a range of different contemporary music to the show. We work with dancers who, who bring that background. And wherever we find interesting teachers, we do work with them. For example, we've studied with acrobats from China and also from the Chinese tradition uh, performers from the Peking Opera, which is a physical theatre tradition. We've worked with clowning teachers and bouffant teachers, and we bring all those elements into the show. Thank you. 
play in any kind of venue. We've played in 200-seat studios and 3,000-seat uh, arenas. So really, every time we get asked somewhere, we just say yes. And the show's very compact. It packs down into, oh, about six small trunks. And out of those six trunks, we produce two hours of theatrical spectacle, really. So we're very suitable for travelling. <laughs> We'd like to uh, produce a, a TV sh show um, using circus techniques. Um, we'd like to do a nightclub project. Um, we're interested in doing a world circus using acrobats from Africa, Chinese musicians, and mixing them all together in a large-scale spectacular. Um, we've talked about doing outside projects of the reworking of Swan Lake on water. Um, so we have lots of ideas.
venues all over England, um, from small to very large. Um, we have an orchestrated campaign of publicity, including press ads, posters, leaflets. And uh, we managed to get a lot of newspaper coverage, which is uh, excellent. We have our own uh, publicity officer who basically just gets editorial coverage in all the nationals. And um, this seems to get people into the theatres. Once they've seen the show, they generally go away and bring back their grandmothers, grandchildren, children, and all their friends. So audiences have really built over the last five years. Sometimes we'll find a teacher who can show us how to do things, or sometimes we'll just lock ourselves in a rehearsal studio and learn through trial and error. I mean, for example, uh, Dave Spatterkey saw someone spinning plates on television one night, uh, worked out how to do it, and since then he's gone on to become the Guinness World Record holder for plate spinning. He can do um, 84 simultaneous things. 71? Anything done? Oh, 72 is equaling the world record. Now it's a new world record. 73. 74. Oh! 74 and a half, 75, 76, 77, 78, yeah, they're all still going, 78, 79, 80, Woo 81, 82, we're going to run out of sticks, 83, 84, they're all going, Let's oh, going. One, that's it, one's just going to go, oh, right, they were all going, is that okay? okay? Yeah, yes, 84. No a Great new world record. record for simultaneous plate spinning. Great. David Sue from the Bar oh, Zoo. Congratulations to you and you. 84. <laughs> Woo-hoo! They're going to get it down. <laughs> 